Hello everybody, how are you? Right, so, yeah, I've got a bit of a treat for you tonight. Um, I'm doing these Star Trek licks lately, and I thought we'd actually... It's a pretty, pretty obvious one to do. It's, the, um, it's from the episode Charlie X, the, um, the song between Spock and Uhura. Um, because it's, it's the one where like we first see Spock play the, the Vulcan harp, or the Vulcan lyre, or whatever it's called. And somebody's actually, somebody's actually made those. Um, they were com commercially available for a while, so you, so you could actually, um, you could actually get them. Um, it's kind of like a cross between like a harp and a, and a dulcimer, I suppose, or something like that. But um, so, before we uh, carry on, um, I'll tell you what the secret ingredient is for the um, for the sound. Just bear with me a moment. So it's um, TC Electronic Flashback Delay. I I found this this will get you most most of the way to getting that that, uh, that sound. And on this Chris setting here, because um, that gives it that um, it sort of like it puts like an octave in in the delay. And because you're using the delay, the actual when you, we're playing we're playing the arpeggios. It will actually fill that out as like a chord, which is which is great, and it gives you that sort of science fiction type sound. Um, right, so sort of a moment. So yeah, and then the other the other thing is um, for a, just like a room reverb, just to give it a little bit more sort of presence, I suppose. Stop it being being so dry, because without when we play these chords, yeah, put it on the amp on first of all. That would help, wouldn't it? Right, so it's. Uh... Yeah. Now, when you put the um, the delay on. once more and then I'll explain what these chords are. So so what are these chords? Well so that's B flat so now instead of playing like a B flat major chord like this. What I'm going to do, I'm playing this note instead, this C. Now that C is the second, so that makes this um, a ninth something. So it's, it's a ninth chord of, of some sort, we don't know what just yet. So we're playing those, playing the root B flat, the C which is the second which is the ninth, but it put it here, that's the fifth, that's the octave, and that's the ninth again. So it's an added ninth chord, because there's no third in that. And then that's um, a flat added nine. It's just the same shape moved down. Don't worry about if the, if the name of it sounds a bit complicated, it's not really. And then you drop it down to here, to where this G flat is. No. And then of course, um, being Mr Spock, he's not going to just go here, go... Because that's too predictable. So he does this um, chord instead. Now, eagle-eyed viewers amongst you will recognize that as the um, as that Andy Summers added nine voicing you know, it's associated with Andy Summers anyway you have the yeah it's that 
So, um, but playing up here, it's not that much of a stretch for you. Which... Um, I mean, this, it's a good, um, it's a good warm-up exercise. And actually, those chords, um, is it the way to Eden, the one with the space hippies? There's a bit where Spock is actually jamming with the with the hippies and he and he plays those chords again so i think that's his that's part of his warm-up exercise is just playing those adding nine chords you know just um And then we go into the, the main melody. You know, you, you could do that, or you go. Just, just to bring you back to the, back to the root. This is a bit more tricky. So, yeah, I even forgot it myself. And then we go into the chorus. Which is like I'll play that so again. Now it's, it's, there's a string skip in that, so it might be a, a bit harder to get that, but... Because I mean that, that's... Um... Because what Ale Ale Alexander Carrage has done He's, he's paraphrased the whole of the Mountain King. That's really what that is. Yeah. Um, you'll find this a lot in, with TV music because, um, you know, I don't know if you, ever, if you ever follow any of these featurettes and things. Um, you know, the composer's like, He's given um, like some scenes, and they say, right, well, we need to convey this this mood. What's going on? Um, so, and often he won't have like months and months and months to write this stuff. He'll he'll have like maybe a weekend or an afternoon to get it done. You know, so um, so the more knowledge he's got of like classical music and um, folk song and things like that then the quicker he's, he's going to get get, uh, get going and, and of course you know if you know those songs you know like Hall of the Mountain King um, I mean Rainbow did a version of it with you know with, with, um, with Doogie White he he was he put some lyrics to it and they had these very you know it was very sinister um, but this song that Uhura's singing about Mr Spock you know it's talking about you know how he looks like the devil and like that you know that he he might be taking advantage of women and, and, and stuff. And of course that's not true because he's Mr. Spock's pacifist, you know, generally. Um, apart from in mock, a mock time when um, you know, he goes a bit crazy. He gets the punthar and, um, <laughs> and whatever. Um, gosh, do I sound like a Trekkie or what? Anyway. Um, but yeah, I, th I, thought you might, uh, I thought you might enjoy that. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, please just... Please consider subscribing. 
I can never say that um, cleanly. But yeah, please consider subscribing, please comment below. Uh, if you've got some other suggestions for things to, to do, put, put that in the comments as well. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Alright, thanks for watching.